Oh no! Mega Piranha! No, Poo Poo! Come on! Come on! No! Not Poo Poo! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? <laughs> they all jumped out of the water and died! That was great! Hello everybody, Samson here. Welcome to another episode of Modded Ark Survival Evolved. So happy to be with you guys. Had a lot of fun last episode. Getting ourselves our new Plessy or Plesiosaur or whatever you want to call it. Our giant long-necked Loch Ness monster. So, uh, guys, this episode I was thinking, I'm like, okay. I know that we got some pretty big stuff coming up in the next update. We got new breeding mechanics, so we've been trying to get some higher level dinos, some pairs of some of the higher levels we already have, so we got ourselves our new Spino Crescent, so we can do that for breeding. We got ourselves some wolves, but we really need a male. That's something else we need. We have a couple trikes that we had before, and we have bread, and it'd be interesting to see what changes there. Um, we have some, we have a pair of RGs that we can breed. We have a lot of stuff that we can choose from. So guys, what I was thinking this episode is, the other thing that they're going to be adding is they're going to add new bosses, which is really, really cool. So I was thinking, okay, if we're getting new bosses, I would like, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, we got our, our uh, plus he does fit in the pen over here. He looks so small next to our Giga Stompy. Um, but yep, just chilling right over there. And you can see the colors on it now in the daylight. It's kind of, kind of like a cool orangish kind of color, which is nice. So anyway, what I was thinking, with the new bosses that are coming, we need to make sure that we have all the items to spawn bosses in so we can check them out. So what I thought was we would take this Pteranodon here. This is one of the this is the highest level one of all the extras from uh, that Pteranodon, Pteranodon taming episode that we have had a while back. We're going to take him and we're going to go to some of the caves and see what we can't get done. Is it a him? No, it's a lady. Of course it's a lady. You look all ladylike. What are we going to name this one? We gotta give her a name. Cave Wing. There we go. Cave Wing is a thing now, people. So I pumped her stats up. She had like 800 experience just from sitting there because we've had her for a, quite a while. Um, you know what? One thing I want to do first. We have a ton of narcotic on us. I want to make sure that we leave this behind because... Oh, you know what? Hold on. We'll come all the way down. I want to leave this behind because it's a lot of weight to have on us. So let's just chuck all this narcotic in here. We shouldn't need any narcotic. I don't plan on taming anything while we're out there. And we also need to put this chitin and hide back. I just used that to craft up a quick default saddle. We do have the blueprint for an ascendant saddle, guys, but it's like thousands and thousands of everything. And we just don't have thousands of chitin to deal with. So what I was thinking is, uh, yo, man, uh, what's going on? How's it going? Uh, what I was thinking is we would fly over here maybe to the most dangerous cave first and check it out, see how it's going. Now, we just have default speed on this Pteranodon, so it's not going to be the uh, the fastest of all the trips. But I want to start making... Um, one thing I might actually make, crafting-wise, is I need a GPS. Uh, because some of the caves I have a really hard time finding, and on the wiki they give you GPS coordinates, so if I can use the GPS... Hopefully I can find it, because I know where this one is, I know where the uh, the cave ball by the volcano is, I know where the Arctic cave is, um, and also the North Island cave, so that's four of them, but there's, I think, two others that I'm not quite sure as uh, to their location, I've never been in them before. Actually, the only caves I've ever been in are, I've been in this fire one, I've died, and I've lost some pretty good animals in it too. Um, been in this one. I've been in the one by the volcano, and I and I've been in the uh, the North Island cave, which is really cool. There's actually a trick you can use that you've probably seen other people do, where you can glitch a, a pteranodon into there, and I think that's going to make it way easier. So here is this cave. So I should be able to fly my pteranodon in. Prepare for a bit of a lockup, guys. Whenever you enter a cave, there it is. You get this lockup. It doesn't matter how amazing your computer is. It's just something with the caves because you're loading in a whole new area. Um, let's land for a second. Let's gamma three. Oh, we're getting some weird like texture things going on. I think this is another one of the problems that you have with single player caves is you get some real texture issues. Um, 
The other great thing about not having this trained on speed leveled is the fact that uh, we don't have to worry about flying into the walls and everything. We can actually fly at a reasonable pace. Now, where the heck is the uh, the artifact? Huh. This is cool. So I don't. I've been in here a little bit, but I mostly just come in and die. <laughs> That's kind of how it's gone so far. Um, I've got a blue drop right here. Can I get off without the death? Okay, we did it. Um, what do we got? Ooh, very nice. Oh, and a GPS. Ooh, and another pike. Is this better than what we have? Oh my gosh, this is better than what we have. So guys, I lost my pike, and I had to craft this one from a blueprint. I almost wish I didn't, because we just got an upgrade. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, here, hold on. Let's throw these on the ground. That way we can get a new uh, spawn next time we come around. Now, where is the actual artifact? That is the question. Now, are we hot in here? We're, it is only 13 degrees, which you'd think it'd be crazy hot because of the giant lava-ness happening over here. Um, where is... Ooh. Now, the thing is, I think I'm totally lost. <laughs> yeah. Lost. Not good. Um, where is... Where's the thing? Oh, is this it right here? Ooh, this might be it. Okay. Let's land. Now, you might be noticing, there's no spawns. This is a single player issue. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of these on Cave Wing. I'm going to wait for this thing to respawn, and I'll be back with you guys probably once I've gotten myself out of this cave. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay, everybody, we are out of the cave. I got... One artifact here, one artifact here. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to fly back to base, drop this stuff off, and I think I'll meet you uh, at the next cave, which I'm going to try and go to the lower south cave. It's supposed to be at 80.2 and 53.5. So not too bad. It's just north of um, the giant stone kind of area. Like, you know, all those, like, big huge cliffs and rocks that are on the very southern shore on their own little like ridge island thing that's just where it's above so I will drop all this stuff off find the cave and meet you guys over there okay so I have found the next cave and I have no idea if you can fit a tranid on in this one um let's see if we can I guess oh here's the cave lockup um alright I'm ga pretty gammed up here so hopefully it's good and bright for you guys it only took me a minute to find my way out of the last cave. Um, huh. Looks like we got some pretty tight corridors here. Well, we're fitting through without a problem. Okay. I'm assuming that's put in place so that you can't bring just anything in here. Oh, wow. This is cool. I don't know if I've ever been in this one. So I dropped off all the stuff back at the base. It's all there, all safe. Even some of the new stuff we picked up. Um, and with a GPS, I found this pretty easy. Uh, like, the stuff that's hidden in the forest, there's two of them that are really close to each other, and they're very hidden in the forest. They're they're hard for me to find, at least. I'm sure once I learn where they are, it won't be a big deal. It's like finding any of the other caves. Once you know where they are, you can find them. But as you can see, we got nothing. Now, one kind of cool thing that I was excited about was, when I was in the other cave trying to find my way out, I started to get some spawns. So it seems like maybe after I spend enough time in the cave... Uh, I could get some spawns, which would be really cool. Ooh, we got a green drop. Okay. Cave drops are supposed to be so good, man. And that last one was, like, super good. Okay, um, let's put that away. What do we got? Ascendant Ichthy Saddle? <laughs> Skip, we got you a present, buddy. Now, how are we doing for a weight? Oh, weight on this, this guy is not great at all. So, that's one thing we'll have to watch. We also have to try and make. We have to try and uh, keep straight where we've gone, so that we can hopefully find our way out of here. These caves are meant to be like mazes, so yeah. Now where is, where's the uh, the, the beacon thing? What's it called? Artifact. That's the word I'm looking for. Where are you, artifact? Ooh man, I hope I don't have to go underwater anywhere. I don't think I should. Um, 
Hmm. Because I don't know that any of the artifacts... I think there's caves with drops that are underwater, but I don't think there's any caves with artifacts underwater. To my knowledge. I mean, there are underwater caves, which is cool. Like, we saw one of those before. No artifacts in those, though. Um, are, is this the way out? I feel like this might be the way out. Okay, right here is where we just got that drop. So we just went in a big circle. That's cool. We can, we're we figuring things out. Um, let me fly around for a little longer, guys. See if I can't find the artifact, and I'll bring you guys back when I do. Hey, guys. I literally just hit the stop recording button, so all I did was I turned left, came down here, bam, artifact. Artifact of the Hunter. Very, very nice. So, this saddle's sweet, man. 210, like, that's really going to help our XD from not dying. Is this obsidian right here? Because, yeah, it totally is. I wouldn't mind having obsidian, but unfortunately there's no way I can carry it. It's just, it's super heavy and our bird has virtually no um, no carry weight so we're gonna have to opt out now this the uh, respawn on the artifacts is actually pretty darn fast like when I when I stopped recording last time for the last cave within I don't know like a minute or two it was back I want to take a peek around here and see if anything's starting to spawn in like I started to find some bats and some scorpions and that kind of thing so that was that was neat Lots of metal in this cave too, man. The only problem is, like you saw like before, you can't get anything big into this cave. But, alright, I'm going to stop recording. I'll find my way out of here. And here we go. See, here's the new artifact. Very nice. I'm going to find my way out, guys. And I think I'll meet you guys at the next cave. Okay, everybody. Cave numero trois. <laughs> Uh, I know that was two different languages. Don't don't comment about that. I got it. <laughs> so uh, we found the third cave. This is what's labeled the uh, Upper South Cave. It's at 68.3 and 56.1. And that was weird. It just got kind of dark. Uh, ooh, that's a little bright. Hold on. There we go. That's looking a little better. I mean, I keep trying to sprint on the train and down while I'm walking. Doesn't really work. So this is a nice big open cave as well. Where are you, the stuff? Where are you, stuff? Uh, let's see here. Where is the drop? So this is a kind of cool cave. I always like the uh, the crystals and stuff that they put on the edge of these caves. It's really neat. Now I think there's one of the caves where you have to go like half the distance is land, the other half is underwater. I think I remember seeing that at some point. Oh, wow. So there's like this bridge, and you come down. And, oh, we got some stuff, guys. We have we have some spawns in the cave. First time. Uh, what do we got? A 170 Onic. Now, these Onic are no joke, man. All right, what I'm going to do is, Cave Wing, you just chill here. I got this, man. Oh, you nasties. How's it going? Yeah. How's it going? Where are you at? How do you like my shotgun? Oh, I totally missed. Yeah, sucker. How do you like me now? Whoa, did his body fly all the way over here? <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, how's it going? Oh my gosh, 680. Uh, a little bit higher of a level. Let's switch to the pike. Come on, you little nasty. It's not really doing a lot of damage. We're doing okay. But, man, this thing's high level. These Onic don't joke around, man. Let's back against the wall. Yeah, we got it. Psh, no joke, man. No problem. So this thing multiplies our damage by almost 500%. And I already have 300% melee damage. Not even a challenge. Okay, let's keep going. Kind of exciting, though. We got some spawns. Like... That's what I was looking forward to when I, about caving was like all the cool uh, like battles and fighting and all this good stuff that happens in here. The challenge that comes with the cave, but we don't really get that in single player. Now, are we going to find something cool? Here, cave stuff. Now it's kind of like a game. Now it's kind of exciting. Like I want to see if we can find like a dung beetle or something. 
I mean, I'll just like get my pteranodon to poop and I'll poop and we'll feed it and we'll be a friend forever and ever. That would be cool. Um, okay, more crystal. More pointy stuff. Uh, can we can we get through this spot? Uh, I don't think so. Oh darn, are we stuck? Okay, good. We're not stuck. Now, man, this is weird. Okay, we have... What is here? Okay, it's not, not a thing. More of this crystal. I wonder where we're supposed to go. Maybe we have to back up and go down where we went up before? Okay, let's come back up here. And uh, maybe the, that bridged area we can get down into? Because I'm trying to think. You're supposed to be able to do all these on foot. Like, I don't think it was intended to have pteranodons in here. I don't think they're against it. Otherwise, they would, like, tighten all the boundaries. But I don't know. So we have metal down here. I don't see any drops or, in or anything close to that, though, guys. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back up. And where are we? Okay, here's the bridge. Guys, I'm going to take a little bit of a look around, and I'll bring you back when I found something interesting. So we're back in. Look, we actually got Titan Boas in here. Cool. So we're not even going to bother messing with those guys, but I found a new area, and I found water, guys. I don't know if this means that we have to go. Oh, gosh. Lots of bats. Um, All right, bats. You want to go? Yeah. Eat Pteranodon beak. Yeah, get, get beak. Get stir, stucker. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, we're doing good, guys. We're running out of stamina a little bit. I think we can take them. I think we can take them. We are way faster, and we got lots of open space to do the, the spin maneuver. Oh, we totally missed. Okay. <laughs> If we keep fighting like that, we will not take them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Get wrecked. Okay. Come on. You nasties. Ooh, this is exciting. I'm so excited. We're actually getting, like, drops. Okay. We need to land quickly for Stam. Land. Please. Land. Thank you. And how's Stamina doing? Recovering. 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 And get out of here. Okay. Let's kick some butt. Wow. I don't know if we have to be sprinting when we do the spin attack, but I feel like we do more damage. We definitely go further when we sprint and do it. I just don't want to hit the water. Oh, that would suck. Man, we're not killing these guys. What level are they? 374 and something else. Let's try it one more time. Oh, we got the 238. Okay, we got one of them. And then there was one. One Pteranodon versus the Ark. Come on, dude. You don't stand a chance. All your friends are dead. It's probably like, For Sparta! Not the wrong thing. You're not a person. You're not a Spartan. For Onik! I don't know. It's like, you killed my mother. Prepare to die. You started it, dude. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. That is right. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Uh, let's level melee damage. Ooh, man, we took a bit of a beating there. Um, yeah, let's put some meat on here. Get a little bit of heal action going on. Very nice. We should be able to regen our, our health. Not too bad. Um, so I'm guessing something is under this water here. There's green crystal. Ooh, okay, hold on. We have a cave. Oh, goodness. Can I fly through here on a pteranodon? Oh, goodness. Okay. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Remember? Kill the bad things. Don't die. Oh. We totally made it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that looked like glowing eyes. What is that? It's like the giant skeletal remains of some thing with eyeballs. Okay. So... I don't know if we have to, like, go in the water here or what, but we can't really handle that. So let's try and get back out. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, oh, I think I've seen other people do this cave, and you actually don't have to go through. I think it's right up here. You know what? I think I've been in this cave before. Is it here? Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. What the heck are you? <gasps> Guys. 
It's a dung beetle. Quick. Check. To 102. Oh boy. Okay. What do we got? Super artifact of the pack. Here, you hold on to this, buddy. Um, can I poop? Oh yeah, that was good. Good poop. Okay, can I... Can I feed him? Is that something I can do? Can I, like, sneak up on him? Can I, can I feed you? Do you want some poop? Hey, how's it going? Feed human feces. Oh, it totally worked. <laughs> Are you going to be our new friend forever and ever? That would be amazing. Can we pick you up at the Pteranodon? Because I don't know if we can. You may end up being our cave poop friend. Can I poop again? Can, can, I, can I poop? You're not ready to defecate. No. Okay, here. Can you poop? Land. Poop. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got some poop. Let's crouch. Let's pick up your poop. Good. Good boy for pooping. Okay, let's sneak up. Super stealth mode. Super stealth mode. Okay. Are, are you ready to eat this poop? Do, wait until hungry. Oh, dang. Okay. It'll gain 50 levels? Ooh, that's nice. So this is a tiny little baby dung beetle, but I'm totally okay with that at the moment. All right, we got another one. Good. We got our other artifact. Very nice. Now, I want you to eat this poop. Let's eat. Now, it doesn't seem to like... It's not even moving. Like, it's not aggroing or anything. I can't believe we got something, guys. Come on, eat. Can you, can you eat the poop? Eat the poop. Wait until hungry. Can I just chill right here and wait till you're hungry? Because that would be really good. I would definitely do that. Um, and I'll actually put the poop where it's supposed to be. That would be good. That would help. Okay. I think I'm just going to wait for this guy to get hungry, and I will return. Okay, guys, we're back, and we should be able to feed this the last one. Yeah, <laughs> dung beetle time. We're going to name him Poo Poo. Yep, it happened. Poo Poo's a thing. Hey, Poo Poo, look at you. Yeah, look at you, buddy. You're so cool looking. Look at you, man. That's so neat. Okay, so we got Poo Poo. Poo Poo is following me. Let's see. Huh. You know what? Oh, dude, you are so slow. You were like crazy, crazy slow. Um, hmm. Let's unfollow. Let's see if our Pteranodon, if Cave Wing here, can pick up Poo Poo. Oh, I sure hope he can, because, like, it's so small. He should totally be able to pick it up. Did, did we pick up Poo Poo? No, we did not pick up Poo Poo. Let's try again. And well, we that time we weren't lined up. Okay, let's let's try and get lined up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say we were past it that time. Man, it's so hard with pteranodons to go slow. <laughs> That's not what they were built for. They were built for speed, man. Okay. Uh, here we'll do it this way. Here's a kind of a trick. It works with RGs. So you kind of do this. You take off. And you go for the scoop up maneuver. Oh, we can't. Darn. And there's no way we can have Poo Poo just like follow us. Like he is so slow. Like Poo Poo is terribly slow. Let's let's just come over here and see what happens. Come on, Poo Poo. Come on, buddy. Can you can you even get yourself out of there? I don't even know if Poo Poo can get out. Come on, Poo Poo. What's your problem, man? I believe in you. I believe. Come on, let's go. Come on, dude. All right, let's let's go like right here. Okay, good. Now let's fly like straight out. And a little this way. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. He's coming. He's going to do it. He's going to drop. Go, poo poo, go. Nice. He's alive. He's a thing. Come on, Poo Poo. This way, man. Can you even get you out of this cave? I don't even know. I don't even know if this is possible. Well, guys, let's see. What are, are we at for time? Let me take a little bit of a pause, and I'll be right back. Oh, no. Mega Piranha. No, Poo Poo. Come on. Come on. No. Not Poo Poo. 
Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> they all jumped out of the water and died. That was great. Dude, Poo Poo, you're amazing. Um, if you could, if you could climb out of the water, it'd be a little more amazing. No, don't you kill my Poo Poo. Oh, no. Jerk. You killed my Poo Poo. That sounds so bad. <laughs> Oh gosh, alright. Well, that's stunk. Give me all your meat, you nasty. Oh, so forlorn at the loss of our poop. Our poo poo. So sad. Oh man, our, our, we might pass out. Alright, let me take a little pause, guys, and I'll be back soon. Hey guys, how's it going? So, we're in the cave, and all of a sudden, everything spawned in like I'm not even kidding like we got everything we have bats we have snakes we have dung beetles we have spiders we have everything and we are in just a little bit of trubs here um, yeah got bats on us we're almost dead we really can't afford to take too many hits but we can't find a spot to get our stamina back oh so many snakes oh so many snakes okay oh okay Get some stam. Get some stam. I'm just bringing you guys back because I might die. We may lose cave wing. I don't even know, guys. This is rough. Um, okay. Die, you nasty bats. Come on. Come on, you nasties. Come on, cave wing. You can do this. I believe in you. Man, those bats hurt. They hurt really, really bad. Okay. Can we land here? Is this safe? Probably not. Can I get some stamina, please? Okay. Okay. Can I get some stamina? We had the dung beetle trying to kick our butt. Alright, let's get back up here. So right here, I think it was, that we can land. Yep. Oh, I'm playing like the stamina game, guys. Oh, so bad, so bad, so bad. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit of stamina. Let's try to barrel roll these fools. Okay, we got one. Well, we heard it at least. Come on, you little nasties. Oh, it's still not dead, and we are almost dead. Oh, oh, we got snakes. Snake pit. Bad spot to be. Uh, somewhere to land, right here. Can I land? Please land. Come on. No time to play games. Okay. We at least hurt them. Um, come on, you nasties. Die. Look at Cave Wing. He's still almost dead. And the chances of me getting out of here without him are very slim. Okay, we gotta try and get out of here, guys. Or at least, oh, stuck. Or at least, like, lose aggro a little bit or something. Oh, dang, snake. Oh, this might be the end, people. This may be the end. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, are we flying back where we were? I think we are flying back to where we were. Oh, okay, I can't sprint. I can't afford to sprint. Luckily, we are just barely faster than them when we don't sprint. Okay, let's get up here. Let's let's just keep going. Let's see if we can get them just like Diego off of us. Oh, lock lock up. Okay, we're in a new area. Um, maybe we will lose them. That would be nice. I would take that. Is that a thing that can happen? Is there any of them behind us? Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on, buddy. You can do it. Regain stamina. Try and heal a little bit. Okay. Wow, guys. That was nuts. Okay. Well, let's see. Where are we at? We are really late in the recording. So, what I'm going to do is... I might have to cut right here in next episode. We might have to try and escape out of the cave, guys. Well... Thanks everyone for watching. If you've continued watching to the end of the video, really appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like, hit the like button, guys. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our community here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later, guys.